The direction you're driving when you cross the Ohio River will determine a lot of things, like the flags you see waving, the taxes you'll pay, the sports teams you might hear cheers for. But there's one thing for sure you will see, whether you're in Indiana or Kentucky, and those are signs claiming ownership over Abraham Lincoln. Now, most of us know that our 16th president spent significant amounts of time of his life in both Kentucky and Indiana. But in the spirit of some friendly competition, I wanted to find out if one of our states has more of a claim over Abraham Lincoln than the other. So to help with that, I found the perfect expert. I'm Warren Greer, director of the Kentucky Lincoln Heritage Trail. When I became a historian, I really was fascinated by Lincoln and who he was and that remarkable rise from that log cabin in Kentucky all the way to the presidency. And like a lot of people, the more I learned, the more fascinated I became. Looking at Lincoln's early years, in terms of length, Greer says Indiana wins. While he was famously born in that Kentucky log cabin, he spent a great deal of his childhood and teenage years north of the river, living in Spencer County, Indiana from age 8 to age 20. But when it comes to key moments that would shape him as a person and a president... For my money, Kentucky has more in terms of breadth and depth. He spent his first eight years here. Uh, his entire family was fr from Kentucky. He married a Kentuckian from Lexington, Mary Todd Lincoln. Kentucky has this breadth of, of connections that followed him throughout his whole life. It was also on the Kentucky side of the river, right here in Louisville, that Lincoln had a profound experience that opened his eyes to the evils of slavery. That experience would set him on a path that would define not only his presidency, but American history. They experienced slavery firsthand, getting on a riverboat that had slaves that were being sold south. Now on that boat were, there were about 12 slaves, all shackled together in chains. Lincoln was very moved by that, and he wrote later in his life that that experience had the power of making him miserable. He never forgot about it. Lincoln's presidency would be defined by that moral question. The end of slavery in America took a civil war under his watch. He was desperate to keep our union intact, and Kentucky was right at the heart of the mission. As a border state between North and South, Lincoln feared it could be a bellwether that would lead to a victory for the Confederacy. Lincoln said at one point that to lose Kentucky was the same as to lose the whole game. And, and uh, Lincoln's role as a Kentuckian helped keep this state in the Union. America's top historians once again ranked Lincoln the number one president in American history. That role that he played in, in, in saving the Union, uh, leading America out of slavery is one that the whole world continues to emulate. 